Okay, good afternoon, grade 9. So today we are going to discuss about solving quadratic equations by computing the square. So before we proceed, um, last meeting we discussed about uh, solving quadratic equations by factoring. So we will continue our discussion by discussing again another day on how to solve quadratic equations. <coughs> so let's proceed. So we have two objectives. The objective for this problem is at the end of this lesson, you as a learner should be, should be able to correctly find the number of values that will completely square for quadratic equations and accurately solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Send your questions. How will you solve quadratic equations which are not factorable? So, and how will you solve the quadratic equation by computing the square? So at the end of this discussion, you should be able, or we should be able, to answer these two questions. Okay? Okay. So for guide questions, we have three important guide questions. How can we determine the per a perfect square trinomial? So how? Given a quadratic expression with no constant term, can a perfect square trinomial be constructed? And lastly, given any quadratic equation, can we always construct a perfect square trinomial on one side? So all of these three questions are very important for us to guide in our discussion. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start. <coughs> Talking about completing the square. Um, it is a method for solving quadratic equations by changing an incomplete quadratic trinomial into a perfect square trinomial. So in factoring, we are given it's either um, two or square binomial or a perfect square trinomial or even not. So for example, we have here um, a situation in which given the standard form of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero in which this is that what we call standard form the constant t is isolated to the other side of the equation and the coefficient a is reduced to one so for us to be able to perform this completing the square you should be able to um, isolate the constant term which is letter c and you should be able also to reduce a to 1. So this is the completed square is given by this expression. So we have here x squared plus b over a x plus b over 2a squared is equal to negative c over a plus the quantity b over 2a squared. So that would result into x plus b over 2a squared is equal to negative c over a plus the quantity b over 2a squared. So um, that would be the form or the process of completing the square. But we would be uh, more, you will more, but you will understand it more when we have our example. So let us now proceed with our example. So consider the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 is equal to 0. So if the constant 6 is isolated to the other side of the equation and the coefficient of x squared, for example 2, is reduced to 1, the quadratic equation can now be written as x plus 1 squared equals 4. So how does that happen? So, according to the rule, you should um, isolate first the constant term and then remove or um, deduce or reduce the a or the coefficient of x squared into 1. So, in that way, reducing the a to 1 and isolating 6, which now positive 6, we will arrive with... Um, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4. So that would be our equation now. So 
performing the completing the skill. So let's try it. Let's try this one. Example number one. Find the number that will complete the square for x squared minus 5x is equal to 0. So what do you think would be the number that when we that can complete or find the number that will complete the square for x squared minus 5x is equal to 0. The thing is we will do the process. So doing the process we have here for the solution the constant is already isolated because the constant is zero to the right hand side of the equation and the coefficient of x squared is already one to get the number that will complete the square get the half of the coefficient of the middle term and square it in our example the coefficient of the middle term is negative five therefore we will get negative 5, half it, or divide it by 2, then you need to square it. So the answer is 25 over 4, and therefore the number that will complete the square is 25 over 4. So it means that this 25 over 4 would be the number that we will add on this equation for us to create a perfect square trinomial. Okay, is that clear? Okay, next. Find the solutions to the equation, to the quadratic equation, x squared plus 4x minus 6 is equal to 0 by completing the square again. So, how can we find the solutions of this quadratic equation? So, we will use the quadratic square. Next. Solution. To find the solutions to the given quadratic equation by completing the square, we need to follow the steps below. For number one, since the coefficient of x squared is already one, okay, so we don't need to reduce the coefficient of x squared into one, we can now proceed to isolating the constant to the other side of the equation. So to isolate that, or in other term, that is what we call APE, or the addition property of equality. But most of the time, we use that as transpose. So, ililipat natin yung negative 6. So, x squared plus 4x is equal to positive 6. So, th since there is a transfer from one side to another, or um, one side of the equal sign to the other side, the, change, the sign will change. So, there is a change of sign. So, we cannot perform the completing the square. So, how do we do that? Again, we will get the middle term which is 4. So divide it by 2 and square it. So 4 divided by 2, that is 2 squared is 4. Then since you add 4 on the left side, you need to add 4 also on the right side. Okay, that's good. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 10. And express the left hand side as a square of binomial. So we can now express this as a square of binomial. So the quantity x plus 2 squared is equal to 10. So this is now your equation of the quadratic. So this is now your equation. So now, we're not done yet. We need now to extract the square roots since we are looking for the value of x. So, square root of x plus 2 squared plus or equals plus or negative or positive or negative square root of 10. Then, we can cancel this out. Cancel 2 and cancel the... Uh, you can cancel out now the 2 and square root. And here, remain. Then, transpose. Combining like terms, number without variable. Then x is equal to negative 2. From positive, it becomes negative. So negative 2 plus or minus square root of 10. Hence, the solutions to the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 6 is equal to, we have 2. Negative 2 plus square root of 10. Then negative 2 minus square root of 10. So that is how we do the completing the square.
okay so let us proceed so we have here a another practice and let's try to solve this what number must be added to complete the square in the equation x squared plus 7x equals 7 so let's try to solve Okay, let's try to answer. So we have here x squared plus 7x is equal to 0. So since the equation is already in standard form, and the value of a is already 1 and the constant is already isolated we will now find the number that we will add so to do that we need to get the middle term the middle term is 7 so divided by 2 then we need to square it so that will be equal to 49 over 4 so the original uh, the equation now would be x squared plus 7x plus 49 over 4 is equal to 49 49 over So the number that must be added to complete the square in this equation is 49 over 2. That's how we did it. And find the solutions. Number 2. Find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 10x plus 8 by completing the square. So let's try to do this. So doing the completing the square, we will just isolate the constant because x or I mean a is already in a I 1. As it's by addition. So we have here x squared minus 10x is equal to from positive, since we will transpose it, it will become negative. So doing the completing the square, we have 10 as our middle. So we to do that, we have to get negative 10 divided by 2, that is equal to negative 5. We need to square it, that is equal to 25. Therefore, our equation will be x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to negative 8 plus 25. Okay, understood? Then, our original equation will be x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 25 since negative plus 25 so negative 8 plus 25 that is equal to 17 positive 17 okay so we have now positive 17 now to get the solutions of that we will now get the square of binomial that is x minus 5 squared is equal to 70. So to get the value of x we need to square both sides right. So squaring both sides and we square at both sides we have here x minus 5 is equal to square root of 17. So that is x equals 5 plus or minus square root of 17. So these are the roots of that particular quadratic equation. Okay, so as a summary, we have here a method for solving quadratic equations by changing an incomplete quadratic trinomial into a perfect square trinomial. So this is also a very useful tool or method in solving quadratic equations. So we're done with factoring. We're done with completing the square. So the next would be 
quadratic formula and the theorem. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.